What is wrong with you? You're supposed to be Belle's friend as well as a cousin. I thought your family was supposed to look out for I each other. I am. We do. <laughs> well, can you see how it might not look that way? I mean, I've got Zach and Lisa wary of me because I'm a lot older than Belle, and you coming up with stories... Oh, please! Like... Put the brakes on your indignation, Doctor. I had a little chat with your wife today, and there is a problem with a big number, and do you know what? It's not your age. It's how many women you've had on the go. You went and saw my wife? She came looking for you. Oh, don't worry, she didn't bother in the end. Maybe she's saving it for your next conquest, or maybe the one after that. You'd really go that far to prove something? <sighs> don't flatter yourself. We'd gone nearly as far as we were going. Technical issues or not. <laughs> yeah, technical issues or not, we've gone exactly as far as we was going to go, because I really wouldn't in a million years. No offence. No, no, actually, do take offence. Well, I have a bit, yeah. I bet I know what Angie said to you. That I worked late, I was distant. Football holidays, <sighs> doing God knows what. It was to raise money for disabled kids. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? To cover your own back. Oh, well, I went pretty far then, didn't I? Because there's a picture of all of us handing over a big cheque. It's on my phone, do you want to see? No, you're all right. See, I don't see why I'd have to justify myself to you, but out of respect for Bill, I will. Yes, I did work late. I'm a doctor. We get busy. But occasionally I fibbed. I told Angie I was at work when actually I went out for a drink. With a bloke. Or mixed company. So Angie didn't like the company that I kept and I was sick of losing mates. The only relationship, and, and, and I really wouldn't even call it that, was when me and Angie was on a break, I went on a few dates with Emma Barton. Oh, ew. I mean, if you'd have said you were dressing up a horse in suspenders, I'd have <laughs> a lot more respect. Look, I, I'm in this with Belle for real. And, yes, it's messy, but it won't always be. And if it ends, and, and I really hope it doesn't, but if it does, it won't be because I looked elsewhere. It won't be because I didn't try. Nice, isn't it? Everybody together. <laughs> Such a nice meal. It's just beef and ale stew. It's very good. Ta then. Jermaine is good at snooker. Had your own table when you were growing up, eh? Slate bed. <laughs> I wish. Full size table's bigger than our living room. <laughs> I think he had you down as living in a mansion. No, not many bus drivers get to live in those. And your mum worked in a veg shop, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, same one for nearly 30 years. <laughs> so you'll see yourself as a cut above them, eh? No. no, no, of course not. My dad was my hero. I mean, he still is. He was happier about the job than I was. It's one of the best for his kids. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Pardon? That no, Zach, I wasn't saying that to oh. oh. Butterfingers. Sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go collect some. No, no, it's no worries. Whoa, 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 calm down. It's fine. All right, I'm trying. OK, well, is this your bag? Have you got any tissues or anything? Well, wait, um... Oh, dear, hot flush coming over Mum-to-be. Just, uh, I'll take her outside. Let me have a look, no, it's all right, Jermaine. You just sit down. It's fine. I'll take her out for some fresh air. That's all she needs. Come on. 